Guys, it's time for us to try to name something again. Right. That's, I mean, that's what we do at Baseball Mapper. Patrick, Corey, you know us. We have been tasked with another naming responsibility. Right. It was COVID teams. It was beers. It was mascots. We've had some success as a team. Stop. Stop. I don't want to hear oh. that, that you were runner-up. Yeah. Because Second runner place. up is first loser. Second place. All right. All right. Place. I didn't make the top 105 uh, right. in the Madison Mallards beer contest. Right. You know, You're I, salty, I think. A no, little. I'm not, I'm not salty. <laughs> they want basic, they want simple, <laughs> right. and that's what you provide. Okay. All right. But this time's going to be different. Yeah. For the Florence Red Wolves of the Coastal Plain League. Collegiate Summer League. I got this. Florence, South Carolina. You, you yeah. feel confident. You, you, I'm confident every time. I have the best one every time. You put it out in social media. Right. You already released it out on right. Twitter. It's out in the universe, man. Right. They, they like it. They love it. Well, they, People are they rallying it behind it already. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. But anyway, so they are looking to refresh their brand. The Coastal Plain League is a really... I say well branded league. It's got the Savannah Bananas. You got the Macon Bacon. You got the Spartanburg Spartanburgers. Blowfish. Too. Lexington Blowfish. There's some really good teams in there. So Florence is looking to change it up, are reaching out into the community. Who can help us name the team? You know, we got you. I can. I can help you. Let's see. Because the Florence Screaming Goats is what the, the people want. All right. You. Pull up on YouTube screaming goats mm -hmm. with your kids, and they're going to love that. They love These are goats that scream. They sound like humans. They do. <laughs> it's weird. And they're hilarious. <laughs> right? Right. So if mm -hmm. that is a sound you're playing through your PA system All throughout games, Just random screaming. logo on the hats, mm -hmm. and the kids buying the shirts, uh -huh. that's selling gear. And right. that's what these teams want. <laughs> Florence screaming goats. <laughs> so... Is there any tie to Florence with goats? Okay, they have a record shop. Okay, yeah, that is Goat Heads Re Goats Head Records. Sounds popular. They have a goat farm there. It's a rich history one. Rich. of breeding goats <laughs> in Florence. Rich All right, history. all right. So many goats <laughs> in Florence. It, it goes Carolina. back generations of goats. Right. There's been herders that come from Florence. I've I've read I've read right. about them. Right. So I mean, it's an obvious choice. Right. Which is what the people want. That's what the <laughs> basic, simple, obvious choices. <laughs> this kind of stuff you come up with. Okay. All right, man. I'm, I'm trying to switch it up. Second place. Okay. So here's the deal. I think it's funny. And if you haven't seen those videos. Ah! It's like that. <laughs> it's like that. Right. It is something. Imagine you could have a mascot or two or anybody in a goat costume really will do. And that would work. It's not a bad right. idea. No, it's, it's not, a great idea. man. It isn't a bad idea. Um... I decided to go with something else that is actually tied to real history in Florence, South Carolina. One of the things I had read about was that there is a crazy story where there was an atomic bomb that was not like fully, uh, I don't know, like didn't have all of the pieces to it. It was dropped in Florence, South Carolina. There's actually like a, a, a site. There was a crater in the ground and there's a site and I guess it's hard to get to. But the locals know about this story. And I'm like, how cool is that? That accidentally, Florence, South Carolina, almost was totally wiped off the map with a bomb. But it didn't happen. However, there's a crater. And I'm like, so the bomb, the crater, what can we think of? And I thought of all kinds of cool stuff tied to that atomic bomb crater. I'll tell you that. But besides the Florence crater gators... Alligators, really common in South Carolina. Or the Florence cherry bombs. You can plant cherry trees. Rich history. A lot of goat farmers used to have cherry trees. I changed it up and went with the Florence bombshells. Now, picture this. The bombshell, obviously you got the history, but the shell is actually tied to nuts. Imagine the mascot being a cute little pecan. Only it's got its little camo paint, maybe in its fatigues. A lot of rich military history in Florence as well. Big time Civil War. I don't know if you knew that. I don't know if you did the research. You were looking I, at I goats. heard about that war. You heard about that war. I'm telling you, nuts, a, a bomb shell. This, there's a, and nuts have shells. You see what I'm saying? It's cute. It's cute. It'll sell hats and jerseys. 
Florence Bombshell. I don't understand the nuts. Explain why is it a Pecans are really popular in oh, South Carolina. It's, just, it's one of their crafts? Yeah, man. Okay. Right. I mean, it's... No, that's they got true. lots of nuts there. I just didn't know. I didn't do the research into the cash crops of <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> but you looked at a lot of goat videos. As Generations I of goats have come right. out of Florence. The kids do love the videos. I think we have a couple of good choices for Florence, for the Red Wolves, as they're looking to rename their team. Got new ownership, a new stadium coming. They want to have a possible new team identity. And I think at Baseball Mapper, we have provided a couple of options. What do you think, Florence? Did we do it right? Let's see. I better make the top five. Uh, <laughs> top five. Whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> Just get him in the top five so I don't have to hear how Man. miserable he is every damn time he talks to me. I've got nothing but finalist names constantly over and over again. Maybe the bombshells are another one. Make sure you're following us at Baseball Mapper on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the places you can find these. We're going to keep putting out videos. We're going to keep trying to name things, damn it, until we actually get it right. Maybe this is the time. Until then, we'll see you. Until next time. Bye.